Jasmine again. I am going to show you how to create a registration link if you don't know how to create a registration link. So you have to be in your Zoom. You go into, you go online in your Zoom, zoom.us. Then you're gonna hit meetings. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna schedule a meeting. You're going to give a title to your meeting. So I'm gonna call it upcoming webinar. Obviously, this is not what you wanna call it. <laughs> you wanna give it the name of your webinar. Um, so whether you're talking about mind, thought, consciousness, introduction to the three principles, that's what you wanna call it there. Here you can put a description if you want, you know, description to the webinar. This is what you want to do, okay? Then you want to choose your date, when it's happening. Let's say it's next Monday. What time it's happening, how long it's happening. This is, if depending on your account, this is the time zone of your account. So this goes to show you the time here is for this. Like, see, for me, it's 11.30. This says 6 p.m. in Zurich time. Okay, so if you want it to be a recurring meeting, you can say that. When we do a registration, I suggest to not do a recurring me meeting, just go required. See here, registration required, and it's going to automatically generate um, the, uh, the ID for this meeting. So all you have to do is this. You want to give them a waiting room. Um, don't touch, don't touch this area. Just leave it as is. I wouldn't uh, click require authentication to join. The reason being some people just click on the link and they don't even have a Zoom account. So they can still go in uh, without being authenticated. If you click that, then people kind of start wondering, what is this? How do I authenticate myself? So it gets confusing. And so I wouldn't do that. Um, this is the AI. We've gone through that in another video. So this comes in by default and all of this comes in by default. So all you have to do is really is give it a name, put a description if you want, the time, the, the, the time it's going to happen, the day and check that it's required. Then you're going to hit save. And now you're going to have a page. This is going to be your your Zoom link. So when you click on this on this Zoom link, this is what happens now. You have basically a, a, a registration uh, possibility here. Okay. I don't know why Marina's email comes up by default, but it does. So, um, so this is your page. Now, if you want to customize that page, make it look a little nicer, you can go into the um, these areas here, right? I believe it's in branding, so you can upload your your logo in here, or you can you can upload your logo here. You can upload your banner here. Um, I have created a standard banner uh, for the community, so that we always use the same banner, and so that way it just simplifies things. We don't have to recreate it every time. So I just put a you know a free banner there, and it kind of looks good, you know. Um, the email settings, this is by default, the registration, this is where you're going to find out how many people have registered. So whenever somebody actually registers to something, you get logged in here. Um, the other stuff I generally do not touch. Let me show you one. I'm going to go into my meeting. So this is, um, this is C upcoming webinar. This is one on April 10th that's happening. So if we click on it, and we go to registration, we can see that we already have 15 registration uh, registered uh, people in there. And after that, what I do is I take these registration emails and I put them into our MailChimp um, account. And then that's how I grow the email list. Hope this solves that. And uh, now all you have to do is take your registration link and put it in the link tree.